Let's begin rating the book. At Station Casinos, the Raiders opened as one and a half point underdogs and closed as one and a half point favorites. So with their 31-26 win, they cover the spread and the over cashes. Them covering the spread and winning outright for those who bet the money line. All came down to that final play though. Let's begin rating the book. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers easily cover the point spread, closing as four point favorites at Station Casinos. The over cashed in this matchup with 65 total points scored. The season win total for the Raiders was set at seven and a half games at Station Casinos. At seven and seven, the silver and black need just one more win for the over to cash. And the Raiders have just two games left to get that eighth victory. At Station Casinos, the Raiders closed as two and a half point underdogs, and so they come nowhere near covering the spread in their 17 point loss to the Colts. The over got a lot of action ahead of kickoff, according to Sunset Station Sportsbook Director Chuck Esposito. The over under closed at 52 and a half points, with the over easily cashing in this high scoring affair. It was a strange game uh, as far as betting went. It opened uh, two and a half. It did get up to three pretty quickly. Did you see any of the prop bets impacted how people bet them because the Raiders were facing the fifth ranked defense in the NFL? I did because I think the total is the indicator. You, you saw the total move two points as we, as we talked about, but they bet a lot of these props over today, especially the ones with Carr, figuring they were gonna have to throw a lot. They're gonna have to beat the Dolphins in two weeks here and hope they get some help from other teams. Following today's loss, the Raiders are now two and four at home and three and three at home against the spread. I've lived here for 17 years and I've never seen anything like it. It's a wonderful experience. And I have never seen a man with glitter in his beard, but there's a first time for everything. Now, Chris tells me he used to bet on the Golden Knights, stopped because he was an emotional better. He's not alone in that aspect. There are plenty of Golden Knights fans who bet with their hearts and Golden Knights betting is something that I spoke with Chuck Esposito at Station Casinos about earlier today. Since the Knights are so popular among the public here locally, I am surprised to see that the line was bet down from 230 to 180. Why is that? Well, they're up 2-0 in the series right now. Uh, the Blackhawks have their backs against the wall, but I, I wouldn't be surprised to see that price start creeping up again as we get closer and closer to puck drop tonight. And it sure has a little bit. Right now, you'd have to bet $185 on the Golden Knights just to win 100. The over-under on how many goals will be scored is six. I will see you one more time later in this show. Before puck drop, we are talking with Gary Lawless, Golden Knights insider. For now, Amanda Dixon live from City National Arena. Back to you. At Station Casinos, the Raiders opened as three-point favorites over the Falcons. And when comparing the two teams' records, it made sense for the Silver and Black to win by more than a field goal. By kickoff, the Raiders had been bet up to three-and-a-half-point favorites. Of course, the final score was nowhere near the spread. The Falcons' 43-6 victory, leaving lots of Raiders backers befuddled. It was kind of shocking, Amber. I think everybody that came to the window had the Raiders circle. You can make a case that it was probably our biggest game of the day, and I think it's probably the case industry-wide. Was that money that came in from both the public and the sharp betters? I would say yes, but overwhelmingly from the public. And it just looked like this is a great spot for them to go in against the Falcon team with no Julio Jones. They just didn't look like the same Raider team today. So then I would imagine that for prop bets for the Raiders, it was almost everything under. Everything was under. Uh, it, very close, I think, as far as Carr went with his number of uh, completions, but his yards were under, touchdowns under. Of course, they didn't score a touchdown today. They're kind of in a tough spot right now, but they do happen to play the New York Jets next week. So it is a team they can get well against uh, pretty easily, I would think. Early odds have the Raiders favored by seven and a half points when they visit the 0 and 11 New York Jets next week.